am so happy you joined me today. Uh, a little while ago I had on my blog a picture of a card that I created for uh, my friend, my dear friend, Katina Martinez, um, as just a little card of like, we made it through the Stampin' Up! year, yay, we're on to big adventures in the new year. So I wanted to show you how I made that card. So I'm going to get started today. We're going to do some watercoloring. I have just a note card here that I've already folded in half. You can purchase these note cards um, through my online store. They end up being three and a half by five inch cards when they're folded and they come with envelopes and they're really inexpensive, which is nice. Um, and so I'm, I have inks here that I'm going to use. Let me get them all set up and then I'll share, share with you what they are. We have Rose Red. Melon Mambo, Soft Sky, Wild Wasabi, and then I need my stays on ink for my stamping. And we're using the Remarkable You stamp set. So I'll show you the stamp set. It's really beautiful. It actually comes in two containers because the images are really big. So they're really, really beautiful. I love them. And we are going to be using this one, which to me looks like a lily. I'm not absolutely sure, but a friend of my husband got me uh, some stargazer lilies and they're beautiful. They bloomed and I have pictures of them on my blog. So if you go over there, you can see them. And I got really inspired by those lilies to do a card. So that's where the inspiration for this card came from. So the first thing we're going to do is ink up the beautiful lily. And then I'm going to just stamp it kind of off to the side here. And again, I'm using stays on jet black ink. And that's a really crappy image. Bummer. Okay. We're going to just flip it. Oh no, we're not because that's all ooky. What's going on here? Okay. Let me ink this up again. I guess I didn't get enough ink on there. Something happened. I don't know what. Okay, I have this box full of these note cards, so I'll just grab another one. This is what I love about these, is they are really easy to just have around. They're very handy. Okay, now let's try it again. Hopefully I get a better image this time. I'm going to zoom out for you so you can see. Maybe I need to scoot this up. Okay. Still not great. I don't know what's going on there. Okay. And then I'm going to stamp my You Are Remarkable sentiment down here at the bottom. And we're going to get to doing some watercoloring. So I have my napkins here. I'm going to zoom in. Whoops. And move these just a little bit. So you can see. There we go. Okay. And then I have my aqua painter, which I love. And I have my paper towels here. I'm squeezing some water into the end of the aqua painter so it's nice and moist. And I'm going to start with my rose red. And I'm just going to go over all of the lines using the rose red. And I really do want it to be nice and dark because I want all of that beautiful dark color in the center of my flowers. And then some dark color down here. And then I'm going to clean it a little bit so it doesn't totally saturate in my melon mambo and I'm going to go in with the melon mambo around the edges of where I've already put the rose red so I really want that rose red dark in the middle and then I want the melon mambo lighter and now I'm not adding any more to my brush and I'm just kind of going in and filling in 
so that I have this very light pink on the outsides because stargazer lilies kind of do that. They're darker in the middle and then they go lighter and lighter and lighter towards the outside. To Actually, they're almost white on the outside. All right, so that's my lily. It's not as pretty as my last one, I have to tell you. Going back in and just adding some stuff here and there helps a lot. Okay, that helps. Okay, and then I'm gonna clean my brush, squeeze out the ink, or the water, rather and get my brush nice and moist and I'm going into the soft sky and I'm just gonna color, I'm starting at the bottom so it's darker at the bottom and working my way up in a back and forth motion. So I'm still getting color up in these areas but not super dark. It's kind of like a shadow and it's really pretty. Just kind of brings the background of the card to life and gives it some color. I don't know how well you can see it because it's really light. And then I'm going to grab some wild wasabi and just give a little color to that leaf and stem. Okay, now I'm almost done. Not quite, but almost. Let me clean this. Oops. Okay. I have the Wink of Stella pin here. And I'm just going to go in and add this beautiful glimmer to the top of my lily, which in my humble opinion makes this card really pop and gives it exactly what it needs. And then I'm going to go in and kind of just go over the remarkable. Okay, I think that does it. There is my card. It's really pretty. I love it. You can you see how shiny it is? Here's the other one that I did. This one's dry. And I just love the way they turned out. If you want to get your hands on this stamp set, you can order it in my online store. Go to my blog and check out the picture of my real life stargazer lilies that are on my blog. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.